Turn the cameras off if we're in a confidential session. Nobody can see it on television. You can't do it. No, you can't do that. Because it, you won't now get into a confidential session if you're going to leave the cameras because, running. Because we'll do, what, we'll do what we normally do is we'll, we will hold the confidential session after we've finished the charity meeting and the council meeting. That's can what we, we normally do. Can we just identify those? Yeah. Possibly, and then we'll get 18 and 20. And Sorry, but I don't know. So, confirm it's a meeting on Wednesday, 6th of May 2014. Let's take that page. My nice page. 21 2. <coughs> Most people weren't here that one. Right, well, I'll propose that we accept them. Accept them. Accept them. John, you second those. Will you second those minutes? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Have a All those in favour, please accept it.
we've already got the charging cable. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, could you, could you, please, could you sit down? That's all right. Well, if it's anything other than Paris business, then we'll sort it out. <coughs> and that's, that's fine. I'm not being here. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> Anybody have any questions on the payments? Good, sorry. Yeah, um, 200660, Tom Cobbler Keys. My passion on keys again. What, what were the keys for? We've got a new lock fitted to one of the doors that didn't have a lock before. Okay, mm -hmm. that's all In the old kitchen. Right, let's go. Any others? Two. That's all. Yeah. Um, just one quick question. Is it possible to get more detail on 200661? Um, do we have a service level agreement or anything like that? Three years. Yes, three years. I'm sorry, I'm going to see. Is it possible to get a copy of that? Just because I haven't. Well, I think we, we need to identify lots of things circulated to new councils because we're going to be playing catch up on some of these, but that's a three year contract um, for the grounds maintenance. But if you send that an email, send it back. If anybody else that wants that information as well, but it, it's, this is the last year of the contract, so we've got to start with what we do next year, next year, whether we renew it. So that's something for the meeting that we have to discuss. But say anybody wants any information, please just contact Michael and he'll send it to you. Any others? Yes. Go on. Tell him. This one. Yeah. Right. Five zero nine point zero three. Your man distribute April newsletter. Yes, council. No meeting. Not charity. Sorry. Well, what's the? What is two zero treble six? KKO, That's the security company that we employ for security around the parish grounds, the parish hall, skate park. And is that 24 7? No. It's easy, it's, I'm not sure what time. It's bad, sorry if I can come in. It's the security guys are a local company, well, not a local company, but a company we employ, and they <coughs> visit the recreation ground and building area. Various times, not set times, it's different various times. Uh, <coughs> general security at night time and stuff like that. They don't do set visits, it's, it's random times, that's the bad idea, so nobody knows when they're, okay. when they're around. But it's to keep, uh, I think, in the summer as well, it's, it obviously helps when we've got people out on the recreation ground and, and uh, so it's something that we've, we've always. Uh, anybody? Sorry to. You can just pass it across. I mean, when you get these some of these um, figures, if you don't understand this sort of my afternoon for it, just just ask or you know we can explain to people. I didn't know it was BFK. <coughs> That's where it is, it's a security firm that we need. Okay, any others? Right, everybody happy? We'll set those before you. Oh, second. I'll second it. All those in favour? Sure, thank you. Two requested round from the Manston Parish Charity, ABC. Right, so then, authorisation grant to APCRG, June 2015, grant is £13,000. Parenting grant per employee cost for June 2015, £4,111.43. Anybody happy with that? Or do you know what I'm standing with? Colin's looking at me. Right, well, I'll let, I'll let Mike explain to you because it, it's you could just be careful to all the background. On, well, on the on the way, they, just regarding the grant that we pay for the recreation grant uh, charity. Yeah, the, um, the charity doesn't carry money much funds, um, so when it needs money, it applies to the parish council. So the grant for this month is £13,000, which 
mainly because it's an issue of which you just agree and share your opinions. Um, and also the parish council supplies labour for the charity. Um, so the payment in pound of four thousand one hundred and one pound for the repair because of the labour costs of the charity community. Right, okay. But as I said, we we've got to go through a lot more of this stuff later on in the in the year, so hopefully we'll get everybody up to it's not an easy process, I have to say. Um, we need that closing room. Everybody, can I have a proposal and second for that, please? Can I have a second to do it? All those in favour? Thank you. Item 7, Proving Council of April 2015. First, they're all on the table in front of you. Yeah, I'm in the back of the that's it, there's a staple pack just to throw them out. I just have to bear with us because we've got three new members again tonight. We mm -hmm. do a lot of paper with it. Let's everybody got those. Yeah, they've been, they've been in the email to whoever got the X button. It's a packing for us. Everybody, everybody got a copy of these? Chris? You got a copy? Sorry, yes. Have you got a copy of the one in front of you? Okay. Right, so we'll do a bank reconciliation now. First. And that's the top page. And you can see the figures there. Do you want to check through them? This is just a movement. Mm -hmm. okay, again, this is just a movement of uh, our accounts that go into the bank and come out of the bank. So it's all there in front. The figures are okay. Can I propose that be accepted? Everybody had a chance to look at them. Yeah. John. Yeah. Second them. Thank you, John. Everybody. June, do you want to come into? No. We just did it. Thank you. Okay. So everybody in favour of accepting those, please. Can I show that? Thank you. Receipts. Page. Page. Can you okay with that? Second page. Can I come in again? Is that that one's just the receipts we've received in? April is quite straightforward. There's only two receipts from the police school. Can I move that? We accept that. Second. All those in favour, accepting them. Thank you. Next page, payments, schedule. Um, and so we brought in about 100 tonnes of topsoil 
um, to put it there. And so I think that was a very fair price for the amount of topsoil that came to try and level it off and prevent it from being like a big. Did, did we reseed it as well? It has been reseeded. It's reseeded, all right. It, it, was a, it was a fairly large impression. I mean, if you put that much soil, it must have been. Uh, and, and as Mike says, the, the quote was originally pushed for the repair of the drainage and everything. So if, you, if you're happy with that. <coughs> Anybody else any? Yes. Colin? If, if you can explain to me, if you will, um, 200639 is an invoice for cleaning material of £237.05. And, and the very bottom item, uh, the hygiene services of the parish hall, £125.52. Why, why do you have to try to do the one from the one from the one from the one from the the one from Killings is cleaning materials, and so floor polish, soaps and all the rest of it. Uh, the other one is for the towels, um, the mats, the air fresheners. But, but, but well, why can't we get one company to do both? Because they don't, they don't do that. Totally different things. They do different things altogether. Yeah. Cleaning materials are for the floors and everything else. The other one is for the hygiene services, for the toilets, the kitchens, etc. Yes, but you can get a company. To not only supply your materials, but to clean up. I mean, that's, that's, I think that's a discussion for a day to a later day. At the moment, we've got what we've got. I mean, that doesn't mean to preclude any discussions on how we can maximise that or use some of the company in the future. So, but the more we need to pay that that thing. But you've highlighted that. I mean, something that we need to look at establishing. We can hopefully save money, but it's question is finding a company that does both things. Both things. So, but that's, as I say, we need to, we need to agree that one. So we can, as I say, we'll have a look at that in future. Everybody okay with those and the <coughs> query? Well, I propose that we accept it. Do we accept those? Second, <laughs> please, Simon. All those in favour? All the new accounts published on the Parish Council's website. Can I come in and get it? This is just a short version of what we just agreed on the previous page. Can I move that way, accept this as well, please? <laughs> Second that. All those in favour? Thank you. Discuss, item 8, discuss management accounts. Motion is paying on the payment headings. You see headings. Um, I don't think this, this is the first month of the year, isn't it? So. Can, I, can I come in and propose we accept this again? Is this just an overall <coughs> problem that's going on on the account? There's, there's nothing of any, any, anything of any happening. As I said, we're only in the first, this is April, isn't it? That we're, that we're looking at, so this is the first month. I'm pleased really to say in the first month, we're going to look now, we're going to run a four pound surplus. <laughs> <laughs> so, things, things are looking good. Okay, can I have a proposal to those, please?
on the recreation ground. You write off the debt, which will, for the football teams themselves, I think SK58 Birders, I think that's probably just a one. I won't imagine that's a big debt over a long period. But the football team is going to write off the debt of approximately is it £835. And I think we should place a, an article in the newsletter saying that on the lines of we are banning the football, at least the two particular football teams, because they failed to pay. And I think they should be named and shamed. Because we, we spent time after time trying to chase this money up. We're providing a service for them and the public. And they're not playing balls well, so with well, us. Football. But that's my suggestion. I can make a formal proposal later when everybody else has had a chance to speak. But that's what I'm suggesting. Can I just bring John in on this? Because I remember we had a discussion on this. And you were yeah, speaking to the yeah, other 35 yeah. right yeah. yeah. <coughs> We're only invoiced on 38. Yeah, so it's not there. It's relatively new. And I did speak to the chap that runs the Old Anastonians, and he said that this, we need to clear this up because he said that three of these dates that has been given didn't play games. Well, it, it's claiming that they never had a match on the sort of these dates. But that doesn't stop them paying the other money, though, does it? I mean, no, we're, we're, we're concluding with that they didn't get dates when they said they didn't play games, but yeah. still all. Yeah, but some of these, some of these figures money. down here relate to games that, were, that they said they never played. That's what I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't tell them, really. Well, I can't, as I say, I'm, I'm at a loss as to why they're not paying. I know she goes and a lot of chasing on this. She's religiously, I think, yeah. logged when they play. I mean, if they're saying that they played two of those, I can also, but we can also find out from the league if they did. Yeah. Because the result, they'll be yeah, in blank need... days or they'll be there. What I'm saying, Jared, we need to get some clarification yes. because well, uh, you cannot you can only somebody up name and shame if they say they didn't play. But, this, but that, that amount, that if it's all down stone, is that only great to two matches? It accounts, for, it, it accounts for a lot more matches than that. Um, you can you take it to, a, I presume it's £39 per game. That looks to be one, doesn't it? How much is it again? £39. Pound. Yeah, well, you've got you're £114, haven't you? Yeah, but there's, you know, there's, a large, there's a large amount of the top down to one team. There are two teams that aren't paid. One's paid up them totally, and that's the little mess there. As far as I'm aware, they don't yeah, pay. Yeah, they pay. Well, so they pay. We've got the other 35 FC and all that stone is FC, and this is the second year that we've done this. I, and other people will know that I sorted out an agreement last year for teams to sign up to it whereby they gave us £100 deposit. I think some have not even um, done that and quite frankly I don't know about other people but I'm, I'm fed up with this situation you know, year, year in year out. We're not getting anywhere. We're losing money. They, they're actually um, having a free game of football on Sunday morning at our expense because we're paying money for that field to be maintained and everything else. And while it is a charity, it's not a charity to that. Extent. Um, I did. I think we did at the last one last meeting. Did we agree a day when they would be sent a, a final letter asking for this money? I mean, we, we've actually we, we've chased this up, chased it up. And it's like John's just saying now is well, we need clarification. Well, if they haven't paid a couple of matches, they haven't paid a, for, uh, played a couple of matches. But the, the, the point is, at the end of the day, is we've consistently chased this yeah. issue up, and we're getting absolute nowhere. And as Clive says. If we're chasing up and not paying us the money, there's something drastically wrong. I mean, 835 pounds is quite a lot of money to write off. Right? I'm suggesting we do that, but I don't do that lightly because at the end of the day it's taxpayers' money, or money that would go to taxpayers. I don't know what other people think about that. Can, can I just... Yeah, if you're clear to me, Sorry. If you're clear to me, Chair, if it didn't say the invoice date, it referred to the date that the matches were played, because well, just to give it an invoice date of the 18th of March, when did they play the matches then? Did they play them in January, February? When? Well, as far as I'm aware, she builds them monthly. They let her know when they play and she builds them monthly. So this is cumulative from 22nd of twelve to 18th of March. Yeah, but the point is, they're not paying the money. Yeah, 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 they're not paying the money. And as you said, they've had warning after warning. Can I just add? Yeah, they've had warning after warning. I think we have got to take some sort of action. Stuart's right. Um, I think we should write to them, even if I don't know how much it costs for a solicitor's letter or a legal letter saying, this is it, you owe us this money, if you don't pay us within a certain amount of time, then 
you know, that's it, you're not using the ground anymore. But I must admit I'm not trying to ride it off. I know where you're coming from, but I think it's it's too easy an option. We need to keep pursuing this money and, and sort of not write it off. I prefer not to personally. So the, the, the reason why is, I mean we're not getting the money, so we're not losing as such, but not in the 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 thing about going down the route of so we say solicitors letters, well, first of all they start costing us, which we won't be able to recover that cost from the football teams. And really, on a moral point of view, it's not good practice for, should we say, public bodies to be suing members of the public. I think it's justifiable in massive amounts. If I could clarify what I meant yeah. then. Yeah. At least if you say, look, we, we can take the action to get this money, we don't necessarily have to do it. Yeah. But at least we can say that we, we can do it. Go on. What's our pay for that? Yeah, I mean, we've got, we've got options, and what I don't want to do is actually, I don't want to go down a road that's going to cost us money to try and recover money, because we, we've earned twice, and in that respect. Um, I mean, I would, well, I have to say, I, I take your point, but I, 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 would, I would like to appeal to their sort of uh, principles that they actually bear this money, because this is the second time, you know, actually, two years that they've bought these same teams and done the same thing. And I think my view is we, we write one last letter, we inform them, we will pursue the payments if they're not forthcoming by, I don't know, say so, so 1st of July. If they're not paid by then, then they will not be using the ground. And the other option we have got is to write to the leagues that we play and inform them and say you've got some teams playing in your divisions that aren't paying the, the money and we'll take it, we'll take it further that way. Because I'm sure there must be some action that Sheffield and Allenship Lee can take in that respect, and I think we should pursue that as an avenue as well. Yeah. Can, I, can I make a proposal? Just again, I don't know how to do for that. A proposal is propose that we write to the two football teams involved, demanding that the outstanding debt be paid within. When it is. Let's see. Should I say first of July? First, that the outstanding debt be paid by the 1st of July. If the, and inform them that if the debt is not paid by that date, then we will look at banning them for a year. No. Uh, and we will also place a notice in the newsletter no. why we are taking such, such action. I'm thinking on the name of shame a little bit because if we're going to write public money off, I think people want to know why we're doing it. Well, I think, yeah, I think we need to put in a letter that we, if, if it's not forthcoming, we intend to take further action. But I think that's for us to decide what, what we would do. But, having said this, by the beginning of July, they'll have to start registering the leagues where they want to play. They can't play if they haven't got a pitch. And if they don't pay this, then they're not going to have a pitch and they'll look elsewhere. Uh, and from my knowledge of Sunday League football, as it is these days, uh, there aren't that many pitches available, not at the price that we charge. If they try and pick a bottom for a council one, it's probably 50 or 60 pounds, so they're looking for more money. And they'll certainly not, they'll not play on the Rotherham council pitches if they don't pay, pay the way. So I think well, perhaps we'd look to draft a letter. Okay, well, what I'm trying to do is, I know it sounds drastic, but I'm afraid, but what I'm trying to do is, they, they did this to us last year, if I, if I remember correctly. I, I, I fully agree with that money from playing I, I think it's a case of now, that we've got to, for want of a better word, we've now got to stand on it and say, look, well, You've had, we've had bent over backwards to help them. And I think we've got to now come to a decision where, I mean, I, I, I'll agree that we should write one final letter, but I think there should be consequences if they don't do that. Now, if if they don't pay anything, it means they're going to have to come back again in July for us to make another decision on what action we're going to take. And I'm thinking by, if we imply that we may, excuse the word may, then we imply that we may ban them. That might just be an incentive to cough up some money. I'm trying to, I'm trying yeah, to get, get it stopped. Well, just a little thing that, see, I'm very confused about this because we've said not two minutes ago that they invoice once a month. And yet on this list, we invoiced over 35 on the 18th of March, and we've invoiced them on the, six, uh, sorry, on the 16th of April and on the 27th of April. That's, that's the same month. It's after, it's after every game that you get an invoice. But I thought that, 
How much a game is it? I don't know, 39 pounds. Well, I'm going to get an invoice for something like Well, can, can, we, can we just to clarify? Yeah, whatever, whatever it is, however they've been billed, they still owe that amount of money. It's not getting away from that. Whichever <coughs> they, they've been sent to bill, I think we had a bit enough troubles getting the £100 deposit out of from what I can remember. In fact, I'm not sure whether all three of them actually yeah. paid that money to They're start. They were saying in the that £278 in a month means that they're they playing they play every week. Well, they don't. They play but one week at home, one week away. So they can't two, play four times. There's two seven. Well, they play twice a month at home, won't they? That's £78. Yeah, yeah but you've got, you've got two £78 pounds in one month. Yeah, but they're different teams. Yeah. No, they're not. They're not, old Anstonians. Uh, um, over 35 is FC, both dated 27th and 4th. Over 35 is 14th of April, and then over 35 is 27th of April. Well, I, I mean, and whichever then, way, I'm, I'm not going to argue the toss with John, but whichever way you look at it, there was £872 between the lot of them. I'm sure the SKA yeah, is an oversight. If you're going to, if you're going to start and threaten to, to, to ban them when the, the things aren't fully explained. Well, it's wrong. Can you tell us what the solution is going to be? What's the solution? I mean, what's your solution then? You know, I haven't got a solution. I'm just pointing out that if the conspiracy is that, think it's wrong. How possibly can they surprise him 39 quid a match when they only play at home every other week? And you've got them billed for 278 in one month. It is £39 a match. If you play at home twice a month, that's £78. Yeah, but you've, you've, but you've invoiced them twice in one month for £78. Quid, 278. They're not, they're not, John. They're, they're not. not. Look, just they're look not. at it, John. It says 27th 4th, over 35, 78. Yeah. 27th 4th, Old Anstonians, 78. Yeah. That's two matches each per month. Yeah. What about the Old, old Anstonians, 16th of April? You've got You've got over 35s, yeah. 16th of April, 75 yeah, quid, and you've got the 27th of April, 75 quid. I don't know, this is different, we don't get anywhere with this, John, because no, I don't understand where you're going from. This one's sorting out. So well, yeah, there was that money, that's what one's sorting well, out. Well, I, 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 I would refuse to pay. Can I have a look? 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 We get on with writing this letter saying that they've got a month to pay, otherwise they will be banned. And, um, and and if they don't pay the money, we've got to get the result. Mm -hmm. And it's no good arguing about what's on there. It's clear that they've, they've been given an invoice, they haven't paid it. Let's look to uh, the story. Let's look to bank if they don't pay it. Can we draft the company? Can so, I? Sorry, yeah. Dolly. Just, just one final just point. Uh, mm -hmm. Just one final point to pick up on what I haven't said. I, I strongly urge that we agree that this letter must go out within the next 10 days. I'd like it out earlier than that, actually. I'd like it by the end of this week yeah. well, to go out if we can. That's right, but within seven days. And See, this is not the first time that we've been chasing this money. No, no, that's right. I, and, I, I'm really disappointed in the fact that the two teams have used the village facilities, most of the players live in the village. Yeah. And yet, yet we've been sort of taken for a ride on this literally, but we're not getting this, this money. And, that, and my view is, I think, you know, right that letter we give them until. 1st of July, if we don't pay by then, then we'll not use the pitch. And I'm, I'm not even thinking about a year, I'm thinking about permanent things. That's right. That well, 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 a year's well, well, is no yes, point. You pay up. But you don't play. Or you don't play. Okay. And we will write to the leaders as well. It's yeah. yeah. a separate letter. Oh, Can we? Well, that's fair. We stand on commercial procedure now for the final letter. Final demand. Yeah. You know, I've yeah, got yeah, After a series of letters, you finish up with one. And you must show that final demand on yeah. on the end of the night, whatever it may be, fail or open. Yeah. So no, level two seven, final demand. If you say to before you start doing final letters, see what sanctions the leagues can do. At least then, if they don't make any action, it's poor PR on them and not poor PR on the, the parish council uh, finding people, banning people. But the trouble with the leagues is they can't enforce them, they can't make them pay us. They can oh, yeah, stop, oh, they can stop they, them playing in the league. Yeah, but they, 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 they can't stop the league. They can't make them pay us. It's harder not to play football. Well, I think the trouble with the class is it's a better PR thing for the parish council. But I, I'm from the point of PR, I think we've, we've, we've done our PR bit for the last two years on this, and I spent a lot of time trying to get the people sorted out for them to sign up to. But it's all been a waste of time because they, they've totally ignored it and have not paid. But they are going from the from December, don't they? Just not well, that, that's probably yeah. that's, 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 that's six months. That's this year. Um, you know, that's this year. We, we had the same struggle last year. And I think we, I don't know whether they got it all back then, did we, Mike? Couldn't we finally pull it up? Yeah, we did, but it was a struggle. But I don't see why we should have to go through it 
again, and I'm quite frankly, I'm losing patience uh, with the two teams. The, the third team have paid up everything. They don't owe anything. They paid the deposit. They paid every match. They paid, they paid the money for that. So, you know, why should why should we let these other two teams look? It's not fair. A little messy. If, if well, I just saying with the angle of. Uh, Coming from the league instead, if that's something you try. But that might be a that might be a find out what powers they have. If that one, then fine. But that might be a long process before we actually get to sending this letter out, and then we get to August, and then it becomes more complicated because teams are signing up for leagues, the arranging fixtures and things like that. So I think you're leaving it, it too late. I'll still go ahead with the letter by the end of this week. Mm -hmm. right. It's not like a constitution, though. That's what it states. Can I have a are you doing a proposal? No, I'm I'm a proposal. Proposal. I have a proposal, I want a second. Yeah, you want to have a second? Uh, can you just tell Michael what the proposal is then? I've got the proposal. Oh, you've got it, sorry. Yeah. Just, um, Michael, I'll read it back to you. Yeah. Wasn't that those in favour? The proposal is to write to the two teams uh, demanding that outstanding debt be paid by the 1st of July. If debt not paid, then that those, either of those teams will be banned for one year <clears throat> and an article will be put in the newsletter. Maybe, maybe banned. Yeah, I can I say that, you can ban for years, just ban I think leave it open. Um, and maybe, as, as uh, John said as well, maybe add something on and say, and we will be right to the league, is it the Hampshire League? To, to it's open to the under the Sheffield and yeah. the Hampshire. And, 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 and we will be contacting them to inform them that they don't have permission to. I think, like, it might be better, instead of saying ban, just say that you will not be able to rent the field. But why not, John? It's, it's rate payers' money, it's not our money. Yeah. And for some of these players, our rate payers, you know. So what? Yeah, well, they should realise they're all Can I, can I, can I, can I just put that short thing? Can I withdraw my, can can I withdraw, right, can can I withdraw my first proposal? And then I was now made an amendment, is that what you say, Michael? Right, so I've withdrawn my proposal. Ivan's now proposed an amendment. I'll second the amendment. So what was your amendment? It was a very good one. It was a very good I think Stuart's proposal was that um, that we write it off and I said I don't think you're going to write it off. That's the only thing. So that, as you read it out, as you read it out, it's fine by me. Right, the two teams uh, demanding that outstanding debt be paid by the 1st of July if debt not paid then they may be banned um, and an article will be put in the newsletter. I'm not so sure about the article. Uh, I'll, I'll withdraw the part of the newsletter at this stage. Yeah. I'll leave it. The letter will be made as part of the month. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As Philip says, we need to, we need to make that, that clear to them. As I say, I, I, this is going back every year, year on year, we spend that much time debating it. It is something that we owe to the charity. My amendment, my amendment, Chair, you don't have the chance to say what the amendment is yet. Uh, I, everything that Stuart said, but don't use the word ban. Say so you will not be allowed to rent the field. Oh, which is semantic. Yeah, it, it, it's what no, you're saying, say, we'll change that if you're. Yeah, no, I'd rather than say that than ban. Say that than ban. Yeah. Do you want the world to have John's amendment that we'll change from ban to not be allowed to hire the facilities? How about that? Higher the facilities, everybody at home. Well, again, I'm going to come in a minute. The reason I'm, yeah, I mean, understand is the word ban is probably a strong word, but at this stage in the process, I think the word ban should be used to send a message, a clear message, that we're not playing games no more. So the word ban will probably be better. I agree. Let's, let's just say that there's going to be a because that's what we're going to do when we stop. Can, can, can we have a vote on John's amendment then that we don't use the word ban? All those. In favour of the amendment? Second. What is it? Secretary? You've got a second for it, John. Well, Before we go any further. But if no secondary, it fails then. No second. Fails that. We've got on the original one. Sorry about this, Doctor. We'll get it later. We've got on Ivan's original proposal. Then, to the 25 minutes, that's just taken. Yeah, you said that. So, can we, can we all, all those in favour? Please show. Thank you. Should, it should never arise. Yes. Next. Those against you. Don't you take it against? Sorry. Well, if you want to record the vote. Do you want to record the vote? No, I want to record the vote, but don't you put it wasn't unanimous. I didn't say unanimous, it was the majority. Alright, oh, okay. Do you have objections on camera anyway if you want to be okay. able to see it? That's fine. Where are we with the other? Sorry, that's on the bottom of your face. That was the other. Um, 
Yeah, this, this, we, we've got this figure for the, for the preschool, but there is this, uh, it's down to be talked about in confidential session later on in the community. It is a call, we want it to be. It's going to be in the Chapman Parish Council meeting. We'll be looking to, to discuss this in more detail, but, but separately. I think we need to arrange another meeting. I think we do need to have another meeting with the preschools. Uh, again, if, if not for any other reason, we'll just have an update and to just in, so the other members get an idea of what's actually going on. Yeah, because we've got the proposal for arrangement. Yeah, we were at, at the proposal. Well, do you want to propose we arrange a meeting with the preschools? I think we should do that. Well, I'll, I'll propose it, yeah. I'll propose that we arrange a meeting with them to discuss the, the debt. The current situation. Well, the current situation on the debt, yeah. Can I have a second for that motion, Stuart, then, please? All those in favour, arranging that meeting? Thank you. play football in preschools. Item 10 to receive buildings valuation report. Yeah, can I just clarify that for her just to update? Just, just to say that the Borough Council did actually do this to a change towards the building by the original valuation from 2007 and then distributed it or created by the inflation, so it's not actually cost as anything. Can you explain the plan? How often do we need to do this? Thank you. Can I, can I just make a, make a comment? I don't know that the, the rich here, the value in them, we're allowed to talk about the values of this. Yeah, we'll have to talk about it. But yeah. the value in the rich here, approximately 81,000. Well, the recent survey we, well, probably two years ago, the survey was saying it could be anything to about £30,000 worth of repairs. So, when you look at the value, when you look at the amount of repairs, it's a bit, a bit off, but there you go. Yeah, I think it, it does seem slightly odd, but it's, um, I think it's the nature of the base, isn't it, that we've got, and it is a one-off like that. <coughs> the value of the value that it's, it's what it's worth in the eyes of, I mean, all the sort of speak, it's, uh, it's something that's I mean, well, unique you, in this area. I would suggest it probably cost more than 18000 just to rebuild that. It, it, it may well be. Uh, yeah, I think we're happy for that. <coughs> no, I mean, we need to just have to receive it? Yeah, I think we need that needs to be sent off, doesn't it, to whoever is it in our insurance? Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. So if you just if, you, if everybody's happy with that building report, then. You know, to, yeah, propose it again. I'll second it. All those in favour? Thank you. Can I ask a question on this chair? Yeah. Um, we were told that when we were going to do these repairs to the Litchgate, the church said that we had to have a, a faculty to do it. Mm -hmm. Why do we have to have a faculty on a property that we own? We still have church land. Still church land. Yeah, I think it's a proximity. Yeah, and, and on their ground, I think that's the that's need to have to have a faculty to do the work. We're doing great in the as well. Right, thank you. Item 12, confirm your ownership internal audit services and independent audit, internal audit for 2015-16. Oh, sorry. Re receive independent internal audit report for the financial year 2014-2015. Not that one to you again. Just uh, can I come in again? Just the, the one on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. Can I come in again? Yeah. Uh, I mean, everybody's ready. Everybody's ready. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing outstanding. There's nothing we need to be taking a note of. Um, he said, at the end, he says, I found the books and records to be well maintained and accurate. I should like to thank you for your warm welcome and look forward to the next visit. Can I just propose we accept that? Uh, if, if I can just go back on that, it says play group specifically. And it just says, I would recommend that the committee ensure that the agreement is reviewed periodically, which is what we've decided we're going to do. Do a range of meeting with them, I think. He did say yearly, but then I think it was in three or six months, I think, so we never reviewed. So that'll, that'll take care of that comment in there. So if you have a proposal, it's excellent. No, Stuart, send it, Christine, all those in favour. Thank you. Item 12, to confirm your internal audit services and independent internal audit for 2015 2016. That's you. 
the opposite page. That's just So we're proving that uh, the Yorkshire Internal Audit Service has the internal audit. Everybody in favour? Uh, I'll propose to accept it. Again, it's all in order according to the document. I've not picked anything up. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's to actually uh, confirm them as auditors again, the Yorkshire Internal Audit. What, well, for next year? Yeah. Uh, current year, sorry. 2015 16. Yeah. I propose we accept it. Second. <coughs> to approve accounts for year ending 31st of March 2015. Yeah. So the independent examiner's report on the accounts assist charity commission, that's that relates to the um, year end statement. So they've signed that off. So that's being signed off. Then. Anybody any queries on that? Yeah, that, 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 yeah no, it, it was to accept Yorkshire Internal Auditors as the auditors. Right. That's, their yeah, document. Right. that's their document that relates to the charities. Well, I misunderstood. Now we've got to so, yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, again, it's an independent yeah. report on the accounts. It's not picked anything up. Can I propose that we accept this? Can I have a second? Mm -hmm. And there's accounts as well on the other side that says we see some payments again. Mm -hmm. Anybody have queries on those? You see that there's a copy. Yeah, there's two of them. There's a set of comparisons that Michael has done between 2013 and 2014 and 2015. <coughs> we can see how uh, some have gone up, some have gone down. Can I just come in on that? Three miles in first. Three miles. That means there's some money left in the accounts. Does that mean when charity. Can you use it? Just use your mic. Sorry. That means when the charity has. The parish council for under the grant does that take into account when they answer the grant? Or is it just a couple of said no? It's just how it happens that they can not be there next time. Oh, okay. They will disappear. Can I just come in? Ties in with what no, they're they're saying. Right. Obviously, at the end of the year, uh, on the receipts and payments, there's going to be some money left in the accounts. Yeah. 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 Okay, on the budget, that money, uh, again I'm looking at Michael, that money, does that automatically get transferred to the council from the reserves or, or where is that service? Stay, stay the so, so technically, at this very moment in time, the charity is a £10,000 service in its account. Because oh. what, what happens is, because it was in service so it happened to be the 1st of March, and obviously in April, we didn't get any grant at all from the bank council. So that's how it happens. Yeah. Um, so we always give the charity, the council always give the charity enough money to take care of it. It's just you know, they have to happen to get a lot of receipts in towards the end of last financial year. And that's why it's not a healthy if, 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 you remember, if you remember, we had a lot of money came in um, from Hall Hire and things like that at the end of end of March, which boosted that figures up. But then but that's gone again in, in April, which is uh, nice that we didn't give it that. So it's, that money's been used up. That just have to be. 31st of March when we had that, that service yeah. figure. So, that, so what you're saying is the £10,000 service that came on the budget has been used, it's just been carried forward into this financial year to be used for April's payments. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. That's all right. Yeah. 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 As long as you know where it is, that's, that's the point I was getting at. It rolls through. Anybody, yeah, that's anybody all right. have any, any queries on that? I think what I'd like, just personally speaking, when we've got payments, I'd like to um, perhaps later on in the year when we're looking at, at the budget next time as to receive some payments out if we can break some of these figures down so we get a better idea of how, you know, where the stuff generated from all we pay. Just so, you know, and the, well, the budget does break this down, so what you need to do is relate these figures to when we get the budget figures. <coughs> you can break it down even further, so we'll, we'll say we'll start looking at that and get to the back end of the year. So, well, can I have a Propose it. Will we accept those? I am. Second, Mr. Stewart. All those in favour? 
Item 14, to approve trustees annual report. This is... <laughs> this is written by Councillor Ireland. Um, has anybody any, any queries? It's just really staring to what the charity's done over the year, how it's worked, etc. What's it done? I've just got one comment, if that's all right. Um, on the second page, the Chairman's Statement of Some Achievements, um, it says that the village bonfire usually attended by around 6,000 people. I think they now do it was around four and a half, was it, Michael? Yeah, we thought it was nine. Yeah. I, think, was six, I, think, I thought it was reduced down to four and a half, I think. Okay. I, I, I think it's important to reflect that because that has an impact on our issues for the event and how many staff we have to provide, etc. So I think it's worthwhile reflecting an accurate figure in that. Even though that was, I know that was John's estimate, it was our estimate at the time. I think we need to put a, a, a fair yeah, you know, figure in that. Yes, please. It's very difficult. You have to admit it plus and minus because yeah. there's a lot coming around the <laughs> edges of different different uh, ways of getting in. Uh, right, just, just a clarification. Obviously, we're not chairman now. But this was written and it's signed with, with John's name. Who actually signs it? You or John? Surely it's got to be John if he wrote it. No, it's not. It's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's just a statement of yeah. fact. It's not. So, it's, so it's not going over there? No. It, it, it will be shown on the Charity Commission website. Well, so if we're without, showing without, something out. Without signatures, you don't put signatures on the website. Right, so we will be. So we're we'll leaving John's name on it. Well, just yeah. for that middle bit, yeah, because that's just a statement. That's, that's all right. I, just, I, thought, I thought this was going off to the Charity Commission, but obviously not. Well, this was written uh, to match up with the parish meeting. This was written when was the parish meeting in April? What, Michael? Twenty something? It was written for that. So that meeting that we had in there, do the public meeting, it's been written for. Right. Can I, um, sorry, can I propose that we accept, accept it? Yeah, second. All those in favour, please show. Yeah, Thank you. Item 15 to approve vulnerable persons protection and health and safety policy statement. <coughs> That's just the same as the Prime Minister last year. I think I have to sign this. Yeah, I'll sign that. You'll be able to. Before I accept, Chair. Everybody happy with that? Yeah. Can I, can I second? Can I just ask a question for a second there? One of the things. It says, uh, item two at the bottom of the page is reporting to the designated officers for vulnerable persons. Who's the designated officer? Who are the designated officers? Oh, senior, senior administrator. Senior administrator. Right, okay, I'll second that. Okay, all those in favour, can I accept that statement? Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you. So a health and safety policy statement for the next one is part of the same uh, agenda item. Everybody read through? Yeah. Right, so yeah. We'll move that, set that. Set can, I, can I just sure. to say something on this? Uh, halfway down the page it says, sorry, it wasn't it says, adequate facilities and arrangements will be maintained to enable contractors, volunteers and beneficiaries and their representatives to raise health and raise issues of health and safety. I've raised several issues of health and safety and I personally haven't been satisfied with the outcome that they have not, I, I personally believe they've not been fully investigated. I will accept this document tonight where I will be watching the situation in health and safety and, if, and my, my statement is, if I believe there's health and safety issues to regard to the charity and the council, I will report them. And the next time I report them and there's no action taken, I will take further action. So this just this just it talks about oh. adequate facilities and arrangement will be maintained to enable contractors, volunteers, benefic beneficiaries and their representatives. Which, which do you fall into? Right, I've just read that and I've just made a statement and I've just said I'm willing to accept it. But I've made a statement deliberately. Okay. Right. Okay. Anybody else? Any comments? Miles? Yeah. Um, just like to draw attention to the skate park as well. Um, I first would like to know um, how that's classed as usable, uh, suitable for the skate park. 
in a specific bit of ground that is built on. I know it's, it's kind of over here, that's probably an issue to bring up. So well, Mark, yeah, Mark has just said that it needs to be a, a, an agenda item at the yeah. next meeting. Anybody else? No. Okay, can I have a proposal? Seconder? All those in favour? Thank you. Sixteen confirmed existing signatories. <coughs> Councillor Arnold, myself, Michael, and the senior administrator to approve new signatories, which is Councillor Machin, Councillor Manchin, Councillor Sadler, sorry, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> Drew Tarmy and Stuart Thornton, and a signatures and copy of the bank, copy bank resolution, so well, that's the resolution to confirm existing and approve now. Can I, can I? I'm trying to things along, can, can I uh, propose that we accept them? Yeah. Are you going to turn around? We're going to try and allow new members as well to have a go. Could you speak to the microphone, please? I think most of them, I think one, two, three, four, four are new members. Anybody else wishes to? But if anybody else wants to be a signature, then I have no, there's a problem with anyone. Anybody else want to put the name forward? No, no, no. Okay, we'll stick to one. Everybody, we have to do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Second, please. And all those in favour? Thank you. Item 17 to consider the stroke approved crown lifted tree at the rear of 51 Ryman Road. There is a figure, but I'm not going to read that. That out. Ivan. Sorry, that's a blue sleeve over there. I'm trying to be clever. Just a, just, just a comment actually really, that this should, ideally we should be seeking quotes, you know, proper quotes on, on head of paper ideally, the prompt mm -hmm. you know, from the contract, as we've all played, we for you. Thank you. Okay, so we've got that, we don't need, we don't need under that, uh, we don't need under that, we Whatever. We don't need it. We don't need uh, that for a quote of that at that level. I think it's good practice if we if we start doing that for everything that we're procuring, because later on in, in the agenda we, we we seem to quote quite extensively from the same individuals. That's not to say that they may not be the best providers, um, but a quote ideally commercially should. And there may be things that, that are very rapidly need to be done but a little bit more than an email and a bit more detail than we currently have. Yeah. I, I, I agree with what Luke's saying. Sorry, Stuart. Yeah, I sorry. agree with what he's saying. I, I, I think he's right. It is good practice to have a quote, um, even if it's by email, but at least, at least it was on edge of paper. Yeah. Well, Mark just said we, we need to look at financial yeah, that, anyway, so on, on an agenda. So I've got one or two items that I'd like to add in. Okay. I think if anybody else has got any issues on, on financial regulation, if they want to, we'll bring it up at a later meeting and discuss it. And we can. Yeah, if you, if you just email yeah. Mark and tell them what's on the agenda, we'll discuss it and then we can amend. Because you can amend it. Yeah. Standing orders you can't, that's a month of financial range if we can amend them if we see fit. So if you, anybody's got any ideas as to how they would like to alter things, um, if they want to email Michael and then we'll have a, if we get through, we'll, we'll have a discussion and then see if we can amend the financial range. Just going back to this one then, the court aside, is this um, for health safety work or is it something essential? No, it's, it's things for the water panels that are that, That's fine, but it's a it's a safety thing then, isn't it? Can I just ask a question? Related to what Aaron said, my question is, does this tree require crown lift and removal of smaller limbs for actual health and safety reasons? Or are we doing it from a request? I mean, normally when we have requests 
to do trees. We normally have a tree in people with no inspectors. Somebody comes in nights with a ball, say there's the one at the back here. I mean, is it essential this for health and safety or is it just a, a cosmetic thing that's being requested? I, I think it's from the point of view we don't get claimed against. Is that am I right in saying that? The residents are complaining that residents have to get houses complaining that there's bits and branches dropping on their cars which are on the driveway. Right. So it's basically to stop us having an insurance claim against. Right. Can, can I, can, can, I just buy any, can I just I mean it's all it's what, hundred and forty pounds plus about. Um, can I just widen the conversation out then? Down the, the back of the recreation ground here, down behind the houses, we have several trees. And obviously, there's numerous cars that are parked in the back, uh, which we're allowed to go around. Should not we be looking then at a possible survey of all the trees? I think, well, maybe from the other line from the garden trees, I think we, we are looking at the tree survey in 2015. I think we last had one. Two, two years since I right. uh, okay. uh, remember looking um, some paperwork saying we were due for another one in 2015, so it's something we so need we, to raise. So this year then we will be having some form of survey and all the trees down this yeah. side as well. I think right. we do, do we do an entire trees, all the, all the trees right. in the recreation ground <coughs> uh, survey as part of that, so we've got, uh, we should then plan okay. any, any maintenance for because um, we're yeah, going to have to budget for that. Yeah, I've, yeah, no problem. Okay, can I make a proposal then for that? Thank you. Item 18, is this one we're looking to move into confidential session? Can I, can I propose that we move this item uh, into confidential session? Since that last meeting, so what is it to discuss? No, you've got it wrong. No. You've got it wrong, John. There's, there's actually there's been there's a letter from our solicitor with a, a way forward, and because it's legal advice, I think we need to take it in confidential session, which we just voted on. There, there has been another letter regarding to us, John, since then. So I think we need to, we need to discuss that in confidential right. session. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, we just voted on it. No, we haven't proposed it. We haven't proposed it. We haven't proposed it. We've got a proposal to move into the second. I'll second it, yeah. We did it already. I think we've done it already. All those in favour of moving to confidential. Thank you. Item 19 to receive communications from Ireland. Right. You're only four people, apparently. Doesn't matter. You're not allowed to speak in this meeting. Doesn't matter. You're not allowed to speak in this meeting. Can you just. I know, I don't need to explain things. You did it for people, both of them. No more. But how many voted against? Fuck you, I've never asked me. You've never asked. You didn't have a It's about due process and transparency. Well, it's strange, it's strange you did that. For the last four years, we've done exactly the same system. We've never heard you complain. Can you just keep quiet, please? Otherwise, if people start talking, and I keep on, no, then I will ask you to leave the meeting, yep, okay? Yep, because we're not going to get anywhere. Yep, so we're good. Just to, just to, if everybody just keep quiet, thank you. If you want to do it again, we'll do it, right? Can I have a proposal that we move it into confidential session? Thank you. Second, thank you. Can I have all those in favour, please? Sure. Thank you. All those against? That's a carry. The avoidance of that. 19. To receive communication from Ivan Clark, release of land grants and people club. And also item 20. To receive communication from Ivan Clark, rejoin access to Danston. 
Can I, can, I well, so, can I come in again? The, can, can I propose that we put these two items into confidential session again? Because both these items contain legal advice from our solicitor uh, with reference to a right of way across the sure. land. Um, it's not just receiving the five, there's actually there's still things in there that say we should be doing. So can I propose that we put that into confidential session due to the reason of legal advice from our solicitor? And I have a second for that motion. Mm. Thank you. So, all those in favour, please show. One, two. All those against, that's carried. To receive confirmation renewal of insurance policy, I think everybody's had a copy of Figures from Larkin, round, which shows the same. Anybody got a comments to make on it? Well, I'm happy to, to take that figure and accept it before it goes up. Is, is that the one that's the two crow from last year? Yes. Thanks. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm going to propose to accept that. Absolutely. Same thing. Absolutely. All those in favour are accepting that quote. Well, thank you. Item 22, discuss ways to be an unscathed party area. Question from public session 20, stroke 4, 2015. Yeah, I, I was at that meeting when a youngster came and, uh, and, and wanted to discuss it and it never got mentioned. At the end of the day, the, the kids who are using the skate park are asking for a bin, let's provide them a bin. It's not a great hard to do. We'll have to read the park in on this one. Yeah, I've asked the, um, the handy person whether he can actually build a bin for us. Um, he's quite good in that one, and he went with the garden centre, it's a wooden construction, and put a, a lightweight bin inside it. And it'll cost next to nothing to make mm -hmm. compared to the old pound to buy one. And it gets vandalised and you learn and move on. But yeah. it might just survive. Can I propose that we, we, we do that again? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the kids have been waiting for a long time. Okay. Can I just say, who's actually going to be responsible for emptying it? Is it going to be a weekly month with it? Our lads. Our lads. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I agree with Mike. I don't see the point of procuring yeah. something that's worth 500 pounds and it gets, it gets smashed on a regular basis. We can't afford that, so we might as well have one yeah. if we can't screw one ourselves. And if it, yeah. yeah, and if it gets if it gets damaged, it's easy to repair, but if it gets Vandalise. Uh, we don't need four hundred pound bill every couple of months if they last that long. Sometimes they don't. So, can I have a? Yeah, is that a yes? I'll propose that the, the handyman makes it. Yeah. Thanks. Second. Second. Okay. Okay. All those in favour? Thank you. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> right. So we'll get the last um, David to. Move on with that, okay. Okay, um, exclude result to exclude the press of the new confidential nature of the business we have transacted. So we've identified items 18 and then 19 stroke 20. Uh, we'll take that at, at the end of the council meeting. Okay, can, if we get there. can I suggest, obviously, we, we're running late again with lots on the council agenda. Um, can I suggest that we stop at half past nine? the council meeting and then have the discussion on the confidential stuff. Because I'm aware there's we could be going on for over half hour and I'm aware that people probably want to get on. So by the next time the council meeting we'll No, I think we, we need to we need to get these items discussed 1819. Yeah, yeah what I'm saying is can we so can we do that cut off the, the council meeting at half past nine. Well that's normally we'll try and extend it wouldn't we? Yeah the right yeah, that's his due time to finish and this will probably take us a good fifteen minutes to discuss these two items so yeah. <coughs> Are people happy to, yeah. to go along with that so we can get these out of the way? I do, as I say, it's unfortunate that charity meetings have a lot of items, but they, they've, they've rolled over for a long time. This is the first one of the new year, so we can get some things out of the way. So, uh, if everybody's happy with that, can we move to the closing? It's okay. It's right, so I've declared the meeting closed. The date time of the next meeting. Charity is Wednesday 8th of July, 
If nobody's got no objection, can I close that way, seconded? Seconded. Seconded for that? Yeah. Take it, John, thank you. Can I take a vote on that, please? All those in favour, thank you. Signed the date makes us two record meetings. I've done that. To permit any councillor elect from the corruption meeting who's not yet signed declaration of acceptance of office to sign the declaration at or before the next order meeting of the council. Everybody signed that, so we must up to date. 
Item 7, to approve Cooperative Bank Resolution regarding bank signatures mandate. Yeah, we, we did. Right, so we've got a copy of that. Right. After the last set of minutes. We've got that. Can I just ask on this one? What are we actually approving? Mm -hmm. Approve that you sign it? And what's that? Yeah, what's it actually telling us? In brief. Because it's, it's we have lost the will to live out for a It's an agreement between us and the cooperative bank yeah. to say we will comply with their legal regulations. They will do it. It's similar to what you would sign when you open that. I don't intend to read through. Right. Um, yeah. <laughs> Because I can't see it, I can't see it, it's that small. Um, I'll propose that we allow the chairman and the clerk to sign it. Okay, are you happy, everybody happy with that? Can I propose it? Yeah. Second. Okay. All those in favour, please. Thank you. Okay. Right. Item 8, to approve, consider stroke approved grant to Anson Park. And the Parish Council Recreation Ground, item one. Uh, this is the one that we've spoken about the charity meeting. The grant is £13,000, painting time for employment costs for June 2015, £4,111.43. I will do the approval. Yeah. I'll second it. Unless somebody else wants to. Do you want to urge on? Yeah, no, no. No, second it. Okay, that's fine. All those in favour, please, show. Thank you. Okay, that's it. Thank you. To consider a programme to Little Mester AFC. Does anybody want to? <laughs> oh, where, where do we start? Uh, I've been in Drew. Drew. Pay for the football. Yeah, well, yeah, because I have to drill that. I would know. like to move that we place the approval of all non essential grants on hold for the time being until we uh, really have a chance to, to fully investigate the finances. This is allocated, there is a, a, a section in the budget for grants up to £2,000, which allows us to do that, but it's something that we do, we will look at again, but I think we, it is covered in the budget, it's a question of, do you want to make a grant to the football club, and if so, how much? So it's not, it's, it's, it, the money's there, it's not something that we've got to, we've got to find, it is under the grants. Can I ask you it is? We will be off the foot of I understand what you're saying, and I agree with what you're saying, potentially. But what we normally do is when we get grants come in, as I said, we have a budget, I think it's about £2,000, we, we decide if we're going to give the grant. And normally, if it's a, a local group that's solely in Anston, we'll give them the grant of £100. If it's a group, say, at Dinnington, where it involves people from Anston, then we'll probably look at £100. 50. Sorry, 50, 50, 50 pounds. Pound £100 50 pounds yeah. analysis. Um, yeah, I, I, I know what you said about these grants, because I think we should look at this later in the year, because we, we did have a massive amount of grant money. Can I just go back to on this one? First thing is, um, at item F, is this organisation open to anyone in Anston? And it says no. Which, is that a mistake or is that true? Mm -hmm. Lots of On item F, right? On the application form, sorry. And the other thing is, you said the Well, it's, it, if I'm just clarifying that's too, I saw that one. It says it, it's, not, it's not open to people under 18. I think it's, it is slightly misleading. Oh, yeah. But it's, if you read below, it says, is the organisation open to anyone in Anston? And the answer is no, because if no, please specify any restrictions, e.g. age group, what they've said. Right. It's got right. to be 18 right. plus, so it keeps so anybody below right. so 18. Right. The other thing is, did he say that the little Meister plays on that pitch here? Yeah. Yes. So are we going to give them a grant for them to pay us back for the hire of the football pitch? Because that's what's happening in this past. So we give a grant out with one hand, yeah. and they give us it back a couple of weeks later on the hire of the football pitch. Well, uh, it may be that this is the bond that they, that they pay. I, mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I can't, I can't tell them how to. I'm not against this in principle, but the point I'm getting at is we, we specify if a football team's now playing because of the back, past debts, we now specify we need a £100 bond. But if this is what they're doing, is they, I'm, I'm not thinking on the little in particular, I'm talking in general, 
Well, if we're given a grant of £100 to a team, and then they're going to use that to give back to us a bond, it, to me it's a bit of a, a funny well, exercise. It says, I mean, um, it's, it's one of the things, we, we, there's lots of people that use this all and everything else that we do give grants to. Sorry, Tim, uh, I'll just go in a minute. We give grants to lots of people that use this all, which invariably finds its way back to us one way or another, um, unless we do uh, concessions, which means they pay less, but we rarely give people grants, so it usually comes back to us. I mean, it's something we perhaps need to look at, but I don't want to dis, not disencourage the wrong word, not, not to encourage local groups to keep going. It does say referees, fees, new kit, etc. As I said, if we give them £100, they spend that way where they want to spend it, we can't dictate that to them. But I think we perhaps need to have a look at the grant system in the future and see how we do it. I know we did discuss multiple grants. We said we wouldn't accept grants more than once a year from one organisation, you know, all that are related to each other. So we, we did we did agree that one. Um, it's really what people, people want to do. As I say, it's £100 for a village team, £50 if it's outside. Can I just who's first? Yeah. Well, go on. Oh, sorry, go on. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. As I understand it, this football team is or revolves around the Little Nestor Pop, because they're all over 18. Why aren't they going to the brewery for the grant? Why are they coming to answer Parish Council? They may well go to the brewery for a grant. Well, yeah, but hang on, hang on. The, the brewery has a damn sight more fun than we do. And I just don't see why Anston Parish Council should give a grant to a pub football team. Well, we've traditionally given grants to any organisation in the village if they, if they comply with what we wanted, then they're going to, you know, it's going to be spent uh, for the benefit of the people that play it and exercise, keep fit, etc., etc. Um, I mean, you, you'd be right, but. People do apply to other places for grants. The more money they can get, um, the better, the better, more solvent they are. You know, they can keep going because football team, or Sunday league football team, is extremely expensive these days. But with pitch hire, insurance, etc., etc. So it's not a cheap, it's not a cheap item. And, and they said, I don't know whether they apply or elsewhere for grants or not. But they certainly, we can't stop them applying here because um, they're a local organisation. Well, I'm, I'm not against them applying, but what I'm thinking. We have a lot of financial constraints and 50 quid or 100 quid is 50 quid or 100 quid. And I just wonder why, what evidence is that they have actually have said to the brewery, give us 500 quid. But well, they, don't, they don't have to supply with that information. Well, they, sorry, so they are, they, they've actually said that the raising through the panel of businesses. Yeah, so it, it, does, it does list it. I mean, they'll obviously go around and raise money from where they can to keep the team viable, otherwise they keep falls up. Uh, I mean, it's up to you to decide what you want to do. Firstly, if we start um, stopping certain groups with the village of Climate Grants, then we're going to have to do it to everybody. No, no, no. Well, I think taking that out of context, I'm just on about a pub yeah. football team. But there's football, pub football teams in Amsterdam, they've always <laughs> got grants from the parish councils. And we're back to an art player. Uh, we got a grant from the parish council, and it's all been at the health of the organisations keep going rather than seeing fall. I mean, I, I won't see people using this bridge. I won't see people using Crowley Bridge eventually. Because we've got a facility up there that's not that's not used. So I think just to give them a helping hand, we set a grant, we set a, an amount of grants for next year. So or this year, so it's not as though we haven't got the money. Yeah. What you want to decide. Sorry. You read the financial details of it. Does they already Sorry. raised two hundred pounds from events, and they already business is a sponsor for three hundred quid. So they've got they've got five hundred quid there from other people, yeah. haven't they? Already. Not, not. It's on the financial yeah. declaration. So isn't that isn't that doing something towards it for themselves? Well, yeah. The, 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 yeah. I'm just answering Mr. Thomas's uh, uh, query. He says, "Put the brewery. They've already gone to somebody." They've got five well, you have to raise money from everywhere yeah. to run a football team. Yeah. Can, I, can I just interrupt? Sorry, 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 for a start, did, did you used to go away, when, when you were playing, did you used to go away in an awesome car? <laughs> I think that's a bit of an unfair, no, pushed by. No, apart, from that, apart from that, 
I've brought this up before. Why can't we, as we push for cash, why can't we uh, tone down these grants a little? Mm -hmm. If it's only five or ten percent, I think that that's probably a discussion that we need to have when we set the budget for next year later on. I think we 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 are where we are this this year. We've got to set a, an amount for uh, grants for local groups. I think that's something that. I'd say when people come with ideas, then we'll sit around at the end, and at the end we discuss it, and we'll have a look at the budget because we have to make some savings. But this moment in time, we've got enough money to cope with the grants that we normally get applied for. So, sorry, Miles. I'd like to ask actually first if you're making a proposal then as well. Yes, sorry. Sorry. Because I would like to second it purely based on the fact that there's other groups which are probably more community oriented and like a football group that need money first. I think we should have a review of who we are and what we did before. I know we've got a budget for it, but I think it's not a more urgent one. But so, do you want to? Jonathan, do you, yeah. sorry, you, you yeah. still want to make a point, John? It was uh, all about the £300,000 right. the business, which yeah. is probably from the... Billy? If you're a charity, why don't you give grants? It can be, but it comes from us. Reduce rate per match for a little mess of saying we'll give money if I have a a match off, maybe 12 home matches. Well, the, a year. the money comes from the parish council, the charity administered anyway. So, but, again, that's we've set the budgets or we've set the fees level for this year to start to get back to starting discounting for football matches and stuff like that. And it's an issue that, that needs to be discussed. It's an idea, we can look at it. But I just I need to, to move on with this to get this one sorted out. I'll, I need somebody to either make a proposal to prepare one. Has somebody made a proposal to prepare one? Yeah. Oh, so your proposal was not to. Yeah. Right. Did you just go through it again? Jeff? Yes, yes. Sorry. I proposed um, I, I proposed that um, we hold these applications. So any non-essential applications for grant funding from the council be held over until we have time to discuss the grant application process um, at a later meeting. The only thing I would say to that is how do you decide which is non-essential yeah. grant? We've already passed this in a, in a previous finance meeting that there will be £100 for people in the village and 50 for those not in the village. It's already been passed and approved. All we're asking to do is to let these be part of it. If you're going to give 100 quid, do we have to straight back anyway? So it's going out the left hand pocket into the right. So it's not going to find is it? It's a different proposal. I, I think the point is that we're going to need some financial pressure and I think we need to scrutinise mm -hmm. who we're giving money to. And I think it's a reasonable thing. We are a new parish council, so I, I agree with what you said. Well, I've got, so can I just say we've got just one each and then one discussion each and then we, um, then we take it. Can I just well, say, can I, it, yeah. we should be seen to be treating each group the same. If you're going to start saying this one can have it and that one can't, then it's not fair, is it? No, I agree with you. Because you want you to let you say, President, nobody gets it granted now. Yes, thank you. But this year, this should, this should happen. I, I personally agree with you. I think we've, we've, we've got that in place for this year, but I think it's a discussion to yes. have set the budget for next year. I mean, Certainly. the club does monitor the level of grant expenditure. But I think the money's being set there. I think it's a discussion for later on. But you know, I would say, it's, if you, you you can't pick and choose, really, no, it's going to be very different. Uh, you've got to be even handed so either everybody gets it done or nobody gets it done, or they get different levels. But it becomes too complicated if we go down mm. down that road. So, I, I mean, I'll take Joe's proposal now. If anybody else wants to be? Yeah, one of the things. Again, I'm with you on what you're saying. Um, the Little Meister football team was on an expert at football. I presume the season's finished. And I don't know when the season starts again. Beginning of September. Right. So if we were to defer this particular grant tonight, it's not going to have a detrimental effect on their football team, is it? Should we possibly, I don't know, I'm suggesting that we could possibly defer. Go, go with what? Well, we, we've, got to, we've got to take Drew's proposal anyway. Yeah, so we'll go with Drew, but defer this payment for tonight, because it's not, it's not an urgent payment we need to make. That's not, but that's not what you're proposing tonight. It's no, not an urgent payment. Can you clear the point for me? 
What do you have to pay for before the season starts? What fees do you get to uh, pay for? Lead fees, insurance, um, okay. kit obviously if you need it. So then it's got to be, they've got to have money before the yeah, season Yeah, you would need to pay that in August before you start playing in September. The, the, you can have, have the lead fees before you can join the league. The point I'm making is, Drew's got a, a proposal on the table which we're going to have to vote on. This is actually asking if we want to give the ground to the football team. And what I'm saying is, the decision on giving the grant to the football team can be delayed in light of the proposal. No, I hope that's, that's it as far as I'm concerned now, this motion. So, you want to sum up then, Drew? Yes, I would just, I mean, just to very, very quickly sum up. Um, I'm not proposing that we treat any groups applying for grants in a, a different way. Um, all I'm doing is proposing that we don't consider these, as long as if they're not essential, they're not essential for the running of the charity, for example. Um, that we hold these over uh, and consider them after we've had a review of the grants application process. Chair, Chair, Chair. Um, that's it. I'm sorry, John. I didn't give you a chance to make an amendment. You've just taken <coughs> the proposal in a second. It's it. So go on there to the amendment. Yes. Well, the amendment is that we pay them hundred quid as they ask them, as we've done for every other organisation, and it's because we've already agreed this in the past finance meeting. The time to change it is at the. For the budget for the next meeting, you can't change a decision that's already been made. So what, what's the amendment? Sorry, Stephen. Amendment. Two, 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 two. So my wife said that 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 you can't have that amendment because that totally overturns the proposal. Yes. Because one is not to pay and the other is to to pay. So am I right in that? Yes, yes, so that amendment can't be discussed. I'm saying that John's amendment negates the original proposal. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. You can't, you can't have a proposal when somebody proposes to totally go off to what it's done. You can amend the proposal in terms of amendment. It's totally opposite. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're back to Drew's. Yes, can I read it? Yes, can I read it? The proposal is to hold all non essential grants, grant applications, until the subject has been, the subject of grant policy, grant aid policy has been discussed. And you have that. I suppose what you could discuss is whether that is non essential. Yeah. Can I just ask, have the council already paid out grants to some groups? No, I don't think so, not this year, this is the first. So this first is the first? First, yeah. So we wouldn't at this stage be treating <laughs> some groups no, to another. Yeah, I'm going to cut it short for this, so we need a second of, don't we? Oh, second is by Ivan. Second. Uh, so we've had a proposal second. Can I have a vote on Drew's proposal, please? Sorry, is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, four. One, two. Four. Three, four, seven, eight, those against. Pause to carry. Uh, Consider program to North Anderson Methodist Church. So, have we got the same again? Do we have to go through? Uh, can I, can I come well, in? Well, that's dictated policy now for every grant that comes in. Yeah. 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 So, that one's yeah. failed. Yeah. Item 9, the purpose of sign checks and approved grants be involved by Eric Bennett, Secretary's Councillors Ireland, Jepson, Clark, and Senior Administrator. Have we got the same? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah but there's some there. Yes. Don't mind from the council. Have there anybody any questions? Colin, I think you had a question last time. That you were going to ask about your mic distribution and distributing of the newsletter, am I right? Yeah. Okay, can we test that? Yeah, I can't understand why is the parish council incurring costs 
the distributing a commercial magazine? It's not. It makes a profit. It's not. We don't we pay them to deliver our newsletter? No, he says your mag. No, we it's pay your mag. And when it says April newsletter, that's our newsletter. Our newsletter. They deliver it with their magazine. Right. Just to clarify. We're not, we're not delivering their magazine for it. We're not quite up to that, 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 that point, yeah. But I apologise. But no, it's all right. It's, it's, we, we had difficulties with delivery before, but now we're using it because they deliver everywhere in the village, more or less. They take our newsletter out with them, so it saves us our staff meeting all over the place. So that's the established that situation. Anybody else got any comments on it? No? <coughs> I think, just to make a suggestion, I think, sorry, I think, come on, Miles, I don't know. You're on your mind. There's one or two points I know we should be wrong. Could you speak into the mic, please? There's one or two things on there that should be brought forward to be discussed first. Most of the things. Most of the things. Now, I think. Uh, all this sort of stuff, it, I think we need some, a meeting not in the not too distant future when we get everybody over to the council to go through how this works because I'm, I'm sure people aren't quite sure how the system works and what we're there to in some of these. So it's so hard for people to be really, really as you know, but I think we need to bring people up to school. Can I just, can yeah, I just, just to quickly explain what's happening tonight is we've got all the checks here uh, and the invoices for uh, the fortnight, for the charities for a month's worth, uh, for the council for a fortnight's worth, and all the checks prepared and signed. And then the council approves those checks for payments. The other figures that you looked at earlier you know, with the charity and we'll do later here, when um, you get the accounts from the month end of April, that all those payments have already been approved at this meeting, um, because at this meeting we've got all the invoices here, so you can check the fine details of those payments before they're actually made and before the checks are signed off and sent off. Um, when you're looking at the accounts a month later, you really need just to make sure that the maths is right and the accounts and the, the entries look okay. Um, but that, this is the point at which you clearly the actual payments, because this is the only point at which a payment can be stopped. Okay. I need to sign though, don't I? And we'll see you soon before we finish tonight. Huh? Item 9 then. Uh, okay, yeah, sorry, I do apologise. Can I have a proposal in a second, please, for the payments? Do it. Item. All those in favour, please show. Thank you. All higher grounds, still item nine, did into the district horticultural society. <laughs>